When we think of realistic systems and practical problems, then theory is very often concerned with the question of why. And if you continuously ask this question of why, you sooner or later are going to end up in the world of quantum mechanics. And the most fascinating bit is, especially at this level, the answer can initially be quite counterintuitive and quite surprising also. So there's this constant stream of smaller and bigger discoveries to be made. For chemical physics and theoretical chemistry, I think the role of theory for life and society is twofold, actually. On the one side, it provides the tools necessary in order to understand the materials and molecules that life itself is based on. And then it can be used in order to predict new phenomena and new molecules or materials in order to advance technology and medicine. This ranges from something presumably as simple as the properties of water to understanding the process of vision, neural activity, or designing new photovoltaic and battery materials, all of which heavily depend on quantum mechanical effects. One very interesting aspect of doing research is that I can bring in my own ideas and discuss them in collaborative projects. And a very fulfilling moment was following through with my own very first research project, all the way from initial consideration and conceptual idea to a new methodology and then seeing it being applied in order to understand a realistic system. Science is about bringing theory to life.